And also Mark Mulder, part of the 2006 World Championship team, as Tommy Pham has given the Cardinals a 4-1 lead. Now, when you think back to 2006, and I think Mark Mulder, I think first pitch at this ballpark <laughs> yeah. and first Cardinal home run. Yeah. That, that, honest, I was just, a couple people just mentioned that to me about the home run, and to be honest with you, it's it's one of my favorite moments of my career. Really? Yeah, to be, I mean, I, I hit a little in college and going to an American League team, I never got to hit. And then when I got here, I was so excited to hit. Because I, I love, <laughs> when I was little, I wanted to be a big leaguer. I wanted to play first base, you know. And so to be able to hit that home run, especially in that type of a situation with the brand new stadium and stuff, that was <laughs> that was really cool. Even though I think Albert, Albert hit one, I think I gave up the first. You and did. Then, and then Albert hit one, and then I hit one. So it was, it was awesome. What do you think about when you reflect on uh, your time here in 2006, and also your Cardinals time? Well, I mean, boy, I would have loved to have been healthy. <laughs> I, I, I tell people, they say, "Hey, how was it? You know, Oakland or St. Louis?" And I always said, "You know, if I would have been healthy in St. Louis, it, it would have been amazing." Oh yeah, it, it really would have. And and that's. Listen, there, there's, no, there's no regrets uh, of anything. There's nothing I can do about that. But, man, what it would have been like to have played here and have been healthy the, and to be able to do the things that I, I know I could have done had I been healthy, that would have been, that would have been the best. Yeah, that's a tough question because you take yourself in one spot where you're the, one of the best pitchers in the game, and then you get yourself into a position where you're in probably one of the best places in the game. Yeah. And you'd love to have them blend together a little bit. It would have been amazing. Yeah, without a doubt. That, that, that would have been the best part about that whole thing. Woo. Holiday tangled up with real Muto, but they do get the out. But your experience here, you know, I, I, I've always wanted to ask you, so I'm going to put you on the spot. Yeah. When, when you came to St. Louis, were you damaged at that time, or did it happen here in St. Louis? Um, you know what? Honestly, I don't know. I just know that at the end of the 04 season, my release point changed in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. In no way in Oakland was I in pain, was I in discomfort, because I went through that whole 05 season here, not right, but I wasn't hurting. You know, and 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 so we well, had 17 it, wins, right? In 05, it was, I believe. It was somewhere around there, but I had nothing. I was slopping it up there. I was throwing <laughs> sinkers. I mean, he saw it from center field. I was just throwing sinkers and splits. I had nothing else. I, I stayed away from everyone and and just got a lot of ground balls at times. But then there were those games where my command wasn't very good because of my release point, because of the way things were working, that it, it was bad. Yeah. You know, and that was the it's it was deteriorating as it went along. And, and that was the and I knew it too. That, that was the tougher thing, I think, as a pitcher, as a competitor out on the mound, is I knew things were getting worse, and I couldn't stop it, and I couldn't fix it. Yeah. But when you look back, uh, let's ask you about the championship run, the motorcycle. Do you still have the motorcycle I, that was signed by everybody? It's it's in my garage. Awesome. It's still sitting there. It's covered up. Um, there, there's I, it's, it's never really moved, to be honest with you. It, it's still sitting there, and someday... Someday, to be honest with you, with all the autographs that are on it, it'd be really, really cool to have it sit outside the, or inside this stadium somewhere. Yeah. And have it auctioned, raffled off, whatever it might be. Yeah. That, that's ultimately what I want to see it happen. I want to see it go to somebody and raise a lot of money for something. I'm curious, too, about coming back to St. Louis. Who are you really looking forward to seeing as a part of this uh, 06 reunion? Well, I, I just saw just about everybody except for him, you know, and <laughs> I, everybody's in that. Most of the guys are in that room, and it, it's funny how things change. You guys who are single, guys who are maybe just married, hey, you got kids. Yeah, I got four. I got three. <laughs> and, you know, we're all we're all talking about kids stories is basically yeah. what's happening in that room right now. So couple guys have gained a little weight Abs that happens too you know but it's that's all part of it some guys got more gray hair I got them I mean we all we all get them and but it's it's some things never change you know and and that's a lot of the personalities everybody's still the same out at first as Garcia gets there Mark Mulder is our guest we'll step aside and we'll see if Miami wants to take a look at this but we'll do a quick timeout back with Mark Mulder in a moment
between. For one hour score, fans can purchase a special Bud Bash theme ticket to get a Brad Thompson bobblehead. That's Tuesday, July 19th. We continue to celebrate the 06 championship team and also purchase a VIP Bud Bash ticket for an exclusive pregame event with Brad in the Budweiser Bowtie Bar. Tickets at Cardinals.com slash Bud Bash. I've said this many times and Mark Mulder and Jim Edmonds with us. Here's a Ledmus Diaz at the plate. First pitch is a fly ball lifted into right center. The last two guys I thought that would wind up in media and be talkers <laughs> were Brad Thompson and Chris Duncan and they're two of the best. I don't get it. it. It's amazing how things change man. You, you sometimes get an opportunity to do something and, and you just kind of go with it you know and some guys some guys just don't well, maybe want to let it be known that they're into it or, right. or that they don't mind it either. And you're doing a little bit of that now. Yeah he, he I was mean the first one of the first ones like yeah. he jumped right into it and did a great job. And yeah. I, Remember we were text back and forth. I'm like, are you really doing that right now? And like, was that live? Is it not live? Was we? I didn't know what was going on, but did a great job in the transition. And it was, it's a breath of fresh air when you get a really good player in the booth when you've been listening to the same people on ESPN for so many years. Well, I always used to joke that when when I was playing, you'd watch a game and you have those people on TV. Oh, that's a great curveball. And yet it was a changeup, you know. And I, I come on, it's we, not that hard. We do that here still. Well, it happens. <laughs> and I always said I'm never going to let it. Here? I'm never going to let it happen. And you know what? I was doing a game a, a last year, I think, and I said something like, "Well, that's a good changeup down and away." And then they show a slow mo, and it's a spinning slider. And See? I'm like, oh, it's not it. that easy, <laughs> all right? So you're doing some games for the A's, right? Yeah, I'm going to do about. I'm doing about 20 some uh, home games. I went to Houston for one series, doing mostly home games though, and. I, I love it. I, I really do. I, I enjoy doing it. I love keeping up with one team and and paying attention to it and talking about it because as much sitting as I did here in St. Louis on that bench not pitching you, you learn a lot. Yeah. You know and, and especially being up in the booth you see a lot of other stuff too that sure. you didn't see when you played that maybe I wish I would have known. Hard and to believe though it's been 10 years here. I know. I know it's crazy. Last year and my last year here in 08 I, it goes by quick man. It's kind of scary. You know once you're done it, it moves along. But you did try to come back. Yeah. Had the Achilles. Yeah well that was day and a half. <laughs> yeah but you everybody said though you were ready to come back. You were going to make that team. I, I don't I don't know what changed. I don't know what it was but look Kyle Loesch needed to throw and he said hey let's go throw and all of a sudden my shoulder felt great. Is that right. And day two of camp I'm backpedaling I stopped to go forward and I blow my Achilles. Ouch. And honestly I tried after that. When I got done rehabbing that, started throwing again, it, it just wasn't the same. Yeah. You know, and it was my push off foot. So whether or not that led to any, or that related to any of the just not feeling right, it just wasn't the same. That's yeah. all it was. It wasn't bad. My shoulder didn't hurt. It just, it wasn't the same. And so I was never going to waste anybody's time by going to camp because I knew it wasn't good enough. Yeah. And so I, I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to waste anyone's time. What do you take away from the 016? How much fun we had. Yeah. You know, and I think more than anything, how talented. Wow. Great play by Johnson, and they get to Scotty. It's just how talented that team was. And, you know, I, I mean, we, we, we finished the season awful, but then we got going once that playoff started. It's not always the best team, it's the hottest one that wins. Great to see you. Hey, thank you. Thanks, Appreciate Mark. It. Mark Mulder with us, part of the 06 championship team. Celebration all weekend long. It's 4 1.